Hey there, this is Tan and in this quick video I will show you how to create an awesome product for your store from scratch that you can sell online. So subscribe for the channel for awesome new videos and like this video if you enjoy it. Alright, so we picked our first template for our online store and now we want to create the products that we'll be going to be selling inside of it. So how do we do that? In Simvoli platform, by clicking on the store products, there you can find in the store section, there you can find all the information about your store and we have the products area. By default, whatever template you picked, you'll see some uh, products being created already and you can customize those that are already created or you can create your own by clicking on that product and you have the, the ability to create whatever product you want physical digital service membership so pick the category of a product you want to create now of course you can also import products by selecting the import option and via csv you can add more products into your store so let's just look at some of the products that are already created just because uh, they have some starting point now here you can see the information about the product and you can start customizing and adding the information you want for the products that you want to sell. Uh, on the top you can see things like the copy the link of the product page to preview the actual product and how it will actually look inside your site. So let's just look into it here so we can preview and actually see the design of it. So it's very easy to see how exactly with the images and the information that you add how that will look to your customers. You can delete and clone the product as well. Now the first thing is the title, the description, and you can actually add also more sophisticated information into your description by adding widgets. So instead of just using the simple text editor, just text, plain text, you can also add elements. So let's say you want to add more information with accordion type of a element, so you can just drag and drop it. And there you can customize what kind of information you want to have in the accordion. Let's create some padding and let's just save to see how this will actually look. By clicking on preview you will see the design and you can see now the information is here pre-filled so it's very visual how this information will look for your users now there you can also select the images the categories in which you'll be having this product so you can create categories subcategories to organize the content the products that you built then you have the ability to hide the product, to change the URL of the product and to add SEO settings. So this is for when the product shows on Google search, for example, or when you share this product with some users, you, they will see the product title and the SEO description there in the information. Now below you also see the price of the product that you're selling. You have here the ability to also make it on a sale so it will be strike through this price and it will show the actual sale price you also have the ability to make this product to be a subscription a subscription is basically a recurring fee uh, that you charge customers you can make it actually to be ongoing fees for indefinitely as a subscription or it can be installments basically a set amount uh, of times they will be charged so if you want to charge them let's say three times uh, every week for this product basically then on installments you can set up such option as well and how often that will happen you also have the ability for stock keeping unit for weight because this is a physical product but again you can select if you want it to be a digital product so that would be a file that's why you have to select a file here which you can upload if it's a service nothing because this is just a service no weight or no file that you have to give away and lastly we have a membership so this is if you want to have uh, people to have access to some content when they um, when they purchase this product so you can here select the membership groups that you have created in the contacts but we have a separate video about membership sites and how to create and sell membership products so you can check out that video separately Lastly, at the end, you have some other options such as track inventory. So here you can enable that option and you can actually show what is the availability, how many in stock quantity you have of this product. So here you can add it and that will reduce when somebody purchase a product from your store. Then you have a custom thank you page. If you want to show a custom thank you page instead of the, the default one, you can link to such custom page that you create with the builder. You can ask additional questions let's say you have a product that requires for example engraving uh, to be added on this uh, on this product you can add such a field and people can add this information when they add this product into their cart and lastly they can also add a tag 
This is really cool because by tagging users with a unique tag, you can then distinguish and um, in the CRM, distinguish them in the CRM, people who have purchased such a product. You can also trigger certain automation flows again in the email marketing automations. So this is a really cool way to know who purchased what kind of a product in your CRM. So you can create a tag and apply it to this product. When you're ready, simply click on Save Changes and uh, yeah, well, you have to select a membership group if you have a membership type of a product. And that's it. This is how simple it was to create a product, to preview it and actually to start selling it in your store. Now, you can of course customize this page itself as well uh, by going into the products here. Uh, then you can go into styling and uh, layout and styling and there you'll find the different system pages. We have videos on all this, but specifically for the product page is the first one where we can actually now customize the product page that we just created for this product. Um, we can click on there and it could, actually this is the design that you saw uh, just before, uh, but without any information. This is like the, uh, the shell of it and now we can start customizing it. So this is uh, first is the store product widget and this is the main thing of course this will dynamically pull the data about the product that we just created. So here by double clicking you can actually access the settings of this widget so you can start customizing it however you want. So you can change uh, the different layouts for example you can have it, the image on top and the information at the bottom this one with the tilted um, design. Uh, you can also adjust the width uh, of the area so you can do that uh, like this so if you want to have bigger image or smaller uh, image you can do it from here uh, if you want to show left in stock uh, for like a pushing some kind of an action so like a scarcity element um, if you want to extend this information on the full height of the screen this is an option uh, to add social sharing buttons at the top if you want you can add that as well um, and if you want to show a floating add to cart button on mobile, I will show you in a second. So this is really cool. You can also invert here and actually this is something better so that you can actually see the design uh, easier. Then you have the product details. Uh, so this is the product details styling. So this is this area which you can fully customize. Let's say we want to make it a dark-ish um, type of a style with, uh, with white colors and white text like this, for example. You can customize it like that. Um, you can um, adjust the, disc the margins here so you can put uh, you know, more, more padding on the sides, for example. So you can move away and create different designs however you wanna style the whole, the whole information on your page, the whole design. You can add some shadows as well. So you can play around and see what kind of design you can make with the whole thing. Here is the border radius, the padding you can adjust. So it's in your hands whatever design you want to create. Usually our template comes with really cool designs but you have the freedom to personalize them as much as you want. You can do the same thing for here. You can adjust where the image would show, what is the padding on the site, if you want to have a background on the site as well or just keep it with the transparency um, and how where the thumbnails for more images that you have for the product would show. So these kind of settings you can play around uh, again to create the design that you want. When you're ready, again, click on save on top. That will save the page in the builder. And now if you preview, we will see all the products that we have. And if you click on the product, you actually see the product with its information inside this product page with the new design that we just applied for this page. And here we can see, we can toggle the different images, we can toggle the um, additional information that we created, the related products at the bottom. Um, so yeah, this is how simple it is. And it doesn't have to be just this widget, you can also adjust the whole, the whole top part, for example, uh, to have a different background, uh, you can change here the paddings. You can you can add even different different sections, whole sections inside your product pages to be as personalized personalized as possible to your users. And just click on Save Changes, and again you can see the changes that you have created for specific products. And uh, here it is with now with the grayish background, for example. So yeah, this is how simple it was to create your products and to customize your product page for your online store. So let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up, 
click on the like button of this video subscribe for our channel for awesome videos on not just e-commerce but everything about growing your business online building your website funnels anything so please subscribe to the channel and comment below do you enjoy the platform what do you think about building your store building your website with the symbolic platform all right talk to you in the next video